climbing Mount Kili Kili or Kilimanjaro uh, has always, not always, but it's been on my bucket list for probably 10 or more years. Um, and then I've been going back and forth to the Congo for the last seven years. Uh, lived there for a full year at one time. And so to partner up with Chris, a long time uh, encouragement and inspiration to me to be able to go there and to climb it for a purpose, um, that, that makes all the difference in the world. It's one thing to go check something off your bucket list, but it's another thing to go there to have a real reason, a cause, real people with real faces, real names like that you got to meet and see and become friends with and know that they're going to get access to clean water at a primary school we went to. Um, and it means a lot. I mean, the, the water they were drinking that we were helping um, fill up their jerry cans was darker than this lake water um, that I'm fishing on right now. And so they were, you know, uh, getting the water out with paint cans or... Uh, or, you know, oil, uh, what we would change our oil with, uh, canisters, and they're drinking out of it. Um, so, man, it's it's one thing. I, Chris is an athlete using his platform uh, for a greater purpose, and I love that about him. Um, that's how I want to be as well. And so I'm a professional fighter, and it's, it's one thing to fight against people. It's a whole other thing to fight for people, and that's what I want to do is fight for people. Do you think you'll do it next time? Man, I think so. Um, I, I was, we were all wondering the day after climbing, are we going to do this again? <laughs> is, are you sore? Is, is, are you sore after you climbed the mountain? Oh my gosh, dude, it was uh, some of the most sore I've ever been in my entire life. Uh, really? More than, more so than after a fight. Summit day, we climbed for 20 hours. We were out the door or out the tent at midnight and we didn't get back until 8 PM. So we were, we were hiking up so that we didn't get caught in the dark. Um, so we started at midnight, the ascent and man, it, it kicked our butt. I think there was three or four guys, four guys that didn't make it. Uh, and, uh, so people were getting sick left and right. They were hauling people down the mountain, um, on these like little gurneys. Um, and they were, they were getting some people out of there. So we had a big bug we were passing around to each other. Um, and then the altitude just hit us, man. We were sleeping at 15,700 feet the night before the climb. I mean, that's a thousand, oh, 1,500 feet higher than any mountain in Colorado. We're sleeping there, and then we start to go up to 19,341. 